Hi everyone, wanted to take just a couple minutes and talk about how we save things to the platform. Uh, so as we get started with SOLIDWORKS, a little precursor here, I'm inside the system options. You'll notice that we have now a uh, section for the 3D experience integration. We want to make sure that enable 3D experience integration is checked. Uh, this allows our model to uh, maintain the format that is going to work best with the 3D experience platform. Uh, otherwise, we're going to start apart just like we normally would. And really, the only difference you're going to see here is that our configuration manager is going to look slightly different. This is part of that 3D experience integration. It just sets up configurations in the, the, the format that the, the 3D experience requires. So I'm going to do a quick part here. We'll just speed through it. Just a simple block with a couple holes in it, nothing fancy. Uh, and then we'll look at what the process looks like to get it into the 3D experience platform. All right, perfect. Um, so now I'm using the, the SOLIDWORKS uh, 3D Experience connector here. So I do have the standalone version. Uh, and um, it does enable me to sort of save in a couple different places here. I can still save locally if I want to, just like traditional SOLIDWORKS would allow me to do. You'll notice I haven't saved this part yet. It's currently part five. We're going to change that. I'm going to save it in both places, actually. I'm going to save it uh, both locally just to show that that is possible. Here you can see um, I have a location. I think I'm going I'm to put this on my desktop. And I'll go ahead and place that there, nothing special. Also note that I could save to the 3D Experience platform here as well. I'm not going to right yet. Right? So you'll notice it is saved to my desktop. Now I am going to go to the Task Manager to the, my, my 3D Experience platform session here. And, and you'll notice it does allow me the ability to save this. Currently has not been saved to the platform. I'm going to choose Save with Options, and you'll note that it's going to place a dialog here. Now, when we go to save things in the platform, we have collaborative spaces and bookmarks. And, and the best way I could equate those to you know, typical Windows is our collaborative spaces are going to work very much like our disk drive, right? so where we want to store them. And then I'm going to associate this file with a bookmark. Now, I've already created this bookmark ahead of time. It's conveniently named Saving to the Platform. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and select that bookmark and save that. Now you'll notice it does sort of categorize that bookmark in there. And the best way I could describe bookmarks would be as the actual folders on that drive as far as organization goes. So you'll notice it takes just a second. And that file is saved up on the platform. Now if we switch over to the platform initially, uh, I'm going to be looking in my bookmark editor for that just to kind of find that file. And you'll notice uh, in that saving to the platform, it's not there currently, but if I do a quick re-index on that, you'll note that it recognizes that that file is there. And I have all the capabilities of viewing that. Uh, basically anybody in the platform would, right? You'll notice I can drag that down into 3D Play and it'll start to load that part up. So again, anybody that has access to my collaborative space uh, could potentially come in, look at this bookmark, or look at this file within that bookmark, drag it in, take a look at it, whatever they needed to, right, as far as uh, making any changes or edits to it or, or markups to that file. So uh, that's a quick look at how we would save to the platform from traditional SOLIDWORKS. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.